new concept in medicine <coughs> and also in aesthetic medicine. We're going to talk about homeostasis. What does it mean? The mechanisms of equilibrium that the body uses to keep us healthy and beautiful through biofeedback. Pictures like that, we didn't do anything. The patient did it to himself by the mechanisms of homeostasis and we'll look at it very soon. Same to that, deep dermal, five years later, still gone. Hair regrowth in four sessions. Now what is homeostasis? Homeostasis is the mechanisms that the body uses to keep us healthy, beautiful. This is what we all have and after a while it goes wrong and that's why we age. What means homeostasis? We get the information, we send it to the peripheral organs, the information comes back, it is corrected constantly, like the thermostat of your air conditioning or of your heating, so that everything is kept in, within a normal range and within a healthy range. We know that for body temperature, we know that for body water reserves, we know that for pH, and nearly all our mechanisms are based on homeostasis. Now what are the central organs? We have three main central organs which are connected with the whole body. That is the central nervous system, the heart, and the digestive system. All the rest of the organs are only connected to these central organs and back. And from these central organs, we've got loops that are going in two directions. Afferent and efferent nerves, arterial and veins, and the lymphatics. They go back and forth and they connect the peripheral organs to the central organs. And that is the basis of our health. They run all together and they run through microcurrent. They run through electricity and they are propulsed by electrolytes because otherwise there is no possibility to run electricity without electrolytes. This is the essence of our life. We can measure electricity generated by the three central organs, the brain, electrolyte electroencephalogram, the heart, electrocardiogram, and the endostyles that people don't know much about, which is the electrogastrogram. So three major organs, three generators of electricity. Now their cables that connect us to the peripheral organs are also electric. We know that from the nervous system. We've got the electric action potential that we know, and that is propulsed in a speed of 120 meters per second through the myelin sheets, which gives us these bumps and the speed that we need to be in connection with all the peripheral organs and we'll understand very soon why it is so important, okay? What many of us don't know when it's not taught at universities is that the blood flow is pumped through the heart till the capillaries, but at the capillaries, where everything is important because that's where the exchange happens between the red blood cells and our tissues, it runs electrically. And the red blood cells is twice the size of a capillary. It falls and slides through electrical power because it sheds its sulfates, its negative sulfates on the surface, and that's how it ends as a positive pole to the veins. That's where everything happens. So, I'll show you here, I don't know how to do that, but I need to be able, yes. You see here, a blood flow in the capillaries without electromodulation and with electromodulation. This is in vivo microscopy. That means that we cannot, I'll go back, because this is really an important situation, okay? But you cannot have a nice blood flow if you don't activate it with electromodulation. You will stagnate, you will not have enough oxygen, so you need this electromodulation to get blood to your tissues and to grow the tissues. So when we talk about anti-aging, and we talk about blood and oxygen, this is exactly what we need. So, the lymphatic system runs also through electricity. It's connected very much to our nervous system, and we know that the release of fluids into the lymphatics and through the lymphatics nodes happens through the nerves and through electricity. Everything that I'm telling you here today is not my say. It's all substantiated by very highly rated studies, 
scientific studies that are PubMed by big universities, and we will see very soon also by a Nobel Prize attributed in 1963. So we got in the three central organs that you see here, see, and their connections to all the peripheral organs here, see, and they run back and forth on electricity and with electrolytes. When we age, and we live now like 50 years more than 200 years ago, and by the bad food that we are eating, fortunately in Portugal it's a lot better than elsewhere in the world, eat much healthier, but if you go to the States, terrible. All our connections between the central and the peripheral organs starts to age. And we see that from the age of 50, 55, all our lifestyle diseases are going tremendously up. The incidence of, of, of lifestyle diseases is skyrocketing. Now, how does it come? We lose our nervous connections because of neuropathy, because we have our Schwann cells that are suffering. We lose the connections of the vessels through vasculopathy, and we lose the connections with our lymphatic system through lymphopathy. And this is three diseases that we all start to suffer from when we age. And that's why the peripheral organ starts to age. And what we do till now is act on the peripheral organs. And we don't do anything to these connections. The new way of dealing with medicine is to take that also in consideration so that all your peripheral treatments will work much better. So for that, we developed two devices that we call CLEM, Closed Loop Electromodulation. We did over 10,000 patients over seven years in three continents. A lot of experience about that. I wrote a book that is on the website of Ryu, okay, and you will see very soon how it operates. Okay? The nerves and everything comes out of the spine, it's connected to the organs, that's why you will see that we always play a, place an electrode on the spine and then connect it to the peripheral organ. This is the procedure how it works. I hope that the movie runs here and this is a bit what Westland is doing now, but we'll see we'll see her in action very soon. So you stick an electrode where the nerves are coming out and that can be very low if we're dealing with genital problems, gynecology or andrology, and it can be very high if we deal with hair or face. Then we have a pen, and between the electrode and the pen, we close and we stimulate the loops to get them better, so we correct the nervous system, we correct the vascular system and the lymphatic. First, we infiltrate electrolytes, mostly magnesium, because that's a very good conductor, and not any kind of magnesium. Here you see the stimulation of the nerves. You see how far we are from the muscle. We're not dealing with the muscle. It's not interesting. We're dealing with the nerve, okay? And we regenerate the nerve. Here we did it for the levator palpebrae superioris to lift the eyelid, okay? And it works, of course, for all the peripheral organs that we can reach, hairs, etc. and sports injuries, but today we will concentrate essentially on the face. So, what is the difference when you see this activation of the muscles? We don't use an external device to activate the muscle. The only device that for us is permitted to deal with activation of the muscle is the brain. The brain has all the functionalities, it has a super interesting and complicated cable which is the nerve and it has connection with the muscles which are superbly done by nature. We cannot replace that by an external machine. The only thing we have to do is to reconnect the nerves and repair the nerves so that the brain can work on the muscles day and night 24-7 all year round. And that is why these type of treatments have a permanent effect because when you take it away this machine of closed loop electromodulation, the brain starts to connect with the muscle, and that's the real rejuvenation. <coughs> now, there are protocols for everything, big book of protocols, there are videos for every application, everything on the side, that's not a problem. Mm -hmm. So, we learned about the three loops that connect the central organs with the peripheral organs electrically, that age with time, and that we repair. Now we're gonna learn a second thing. We all know PRP. We take our blood, we centrifugate, we take our platelets, we inject them, we create a trauma because we need thrombine. 
and they release the vascular endothelial growth factor, which we call VEGF. Turns out that you don't have to take blood anymore, <laughs> centrifugated, take 10 cc, lose 4 cc, and then with the six other cc's, take your platelets and traumatize. Turns out that you don't always need trauma, that electromodulation liberates the vascular endothelial growth factors from your platelets in situ, on the spot. That means if you have blood in your face, with electromodulation, you go and you release the vascular endothelial growth factor and you get a PRP that is about 100 times more than what you would do by taking 10 cc. Same goes for the skull, same goes for other regions that you can reach. Okay? Now all this is substantiated by tons of articles. I've put only one here, but on our website you'll find 121 articles of great quality. Okay? All this is known already in faculties for biology and in labs for physiology, etc. It only never reached the clinic. It never reached medicine. It never reached the faculty where we studied. It, it is there and existing in faculties of biology, pharmacology, and physiology. A last thing that is extremely important for our life is the connection. All our cells, and for those who are dermatologists here in the room, it's very important to understand, our cells are connected electrically to each other. That's how they communicate, not only with the central organs, but they communicate with each other through electrolytes. And that's how we have this homeostasis. So they know what to do. When they lose this connection, there is like a too much next to a too little. We get the brown spots, we get loss of elastosis, the fibroblast doesn't work, etc. What we do as doctors, we go to what is weak and we try to stimulate it, and to what is too much and we try to kill it with lasers or whatever we have. But it's not necessary because the body knows how to regenerate everything by itself. The only thing what we have to do is to connect it. And this connection happens with the clam, with the microcurrent to restore that. Now, as I told you, everything I'm telling you here is substantiated by very, very strong science behind it, okay? And you'll understand how it works and how our cells are deficient electrically and we try to supplement it. Currently, we're working on the Langerhan cells in the pancreas where we know that the problem of diabetes is an electric one because the Langerhans cells don't work electrically, and where we try to repair that, most of our indications are medical, but they count also for the face and the hairs and the body, because yes, a healthy body and a healthy face is also beautiful. So, the three loops, the PRP, the cell-to-cell -cell connections. This is the basic of CLEM. Now, what we do is connect you with your own resources so that you can heal yourself. And this is the future of medicine. The future of medicine is, we went from surgery, we went to minimal invasive, natural, and now we are in the natural revolution, which means we harvest the self-healing capacities in our body. Okay? I started with surgery. I started with doing heavy facelifts and all these plastic surgery, and I ended up with the self -healing. Now, a lot of indications, face, hair, neuropathy, uh, andrology, gynecology, we treat erectile dysfunction and prostate problems, dryness and cystitis and all these kind of problems, and sports, but today we will concentrate essentially on the face, okay? What are the contraindications? Epilepsy, of course, it's an electric problem in the brain. Implants with batteries, like pacemaker and cochlear implant, Okay? Chemotherapy, because we don't want to interfere, although there are enough studies that help to reduce cancer, but we don't deal with that. And of course, the holiest of the holiest is the pregnant woman. We don't touch her, we leave her alone, we just give her love and good food and rest. And after that, we'll, we'll deal with all the problems after the birth, which are hair loss, which is a phase that needs to be refreshing a bit, which is, and mainly, pelvic restoration, okay? Because, you know, it's very traumatic eh? childbirth, and it can create a lot of problems in the pelvic area. Okay, now, 2012, 
I encountered a, a serious problem. The faces of my patients started to change after 25 years that was injected. And I went to see what's happening in Hollywood with my colleagues, and they told me, we, we dropped these injectables. Everybody's going natural now. The, the actors and the actresses, we don't them to have a frozen face. And then we looked it up, and what is an aging face? Okay, what is an aging face? Is it the wrinkles? Look at the baby here. Here's wrinkles, okay? Front. Look at the baby here, nasolabial folds, which come from a contraction of the zygomatic muscle, okay? It's not a loss in dermis, it's a contraction of the zygomatic muscle, mind you. And we will see that later on, how we correct it, okay? But it's still a baby, even if it has marks, even if it has spots, even acne, whatever it is, it stays a baby. With a flawless skin, perfect skin, we know her all, but I tell her such, okay? Perfect skin, she still doesn't look young. Why? Because the shape of the face is not young. And the shape of the face determines actually your age. We've all been to those kind of congresses where we get like a blurred image of the face and we have to determine what age they are and we don't see the skin, okay? So, my daughter married in 2013 with the son of a famous radiologist, it was a radiology clinic, and they had a CT scan, a CAT scan, you call it here TAC or something like that, a bit different, but it's the tomography scan in their office, and these were my new in-laws, so Ivan is his name, and I told him, Ivan, I want to see these fat pads that are going away. What's happening with these fat pads in the face? So examine that for me. Yeah, and because our kids just married, so he did me a favor, <laughs> And he came up with this. He tells me, Ilan, I don't know what you're talking about. I said, it's fat pads. He said, I see no fat pads. I see the muscles disappear. And the muscles disappear by more than 50%. And because they don't have this tone and, and, and volume anymore, they don't pull on the bone. And when they don't pull on the bone, we lose bone because we lose muscle. So it's a muscular problem. I stopped thinking and we went with the whole team, we were 45 in the clinic, and we looked at what's happening in the literature also, and inspired also on Bell's palsy that you know. You see, the skin is the same on both sides. The fat pads are the same on both sides. It's the muscles who are paralyzed. This is the problem. And when the muscles don't work, we have this different face. And we say also, the muscles of the face, they give us the volume, they give us the lifting, and they give us the relaxation after each contraction, okay? While the hyaluronic acid fillers, they remain. We know that they remain for 20 years, while the muscles disappear. So all of a sudden, we get this shift from muscle to hyaluronic acid, and the face is started to swell. And we get what we call the pillow face. And this is Tom Cruise, 2021. He couldn't play like that maverick. See? So, he removed the ironic acid from his face. But mind you, this is not without the danger. It can give you scarring, and it can give you also autoimmune diseases in 20% of the cases. This is one of the reasons that not everybody removed his ironic acid. You see other actors and known people with this pillow face, and we know them all, okay? Madonna didn't want to remove that out of the fear of having an autoimmune disease. Okay? Now, electromodulation is not new. We didn't invent anything. We just improved it. And it is already 100 years present. There is even a Nobel Prize around it, and big universities with, with great scientists already speak of the electron, like, like the microbiome, and they also speak about bioelectric codes. Okay? So this is a very known thing. Now the question is, what did we do? The electromodulation devices that were in the past, they were big machines, they were not very easy to use, they took four hours a day, you had to come every day, etc. It was like the old phone that we had, you know, this old phone with the dialer eh? and, and the horn, they were not very practical. Hmm? We changed all the components. I was born finally in a very good time, ideal, because all these electronic components were available. And I was invited to talk 
at the University in Riga, up in the north, which are very famous for electronic engineering and software. And I told about all these things that I'm occupied with, and they said, why don't you stay here and we'll help you develop that. And together with the University of RTU, which is already there from 1862, very famous for electronic engineering, we built a totally state-of-the-art device that runs on software, 65,000 lines of software coding. I don't know if you can imagine how much it is. That's four engineers that are coding during three months. Okay, so. And we created a state-of-the-art device, okay, that we're gonna see here. Um, what we will do now is a little bit follow Wes in her endeavor, and then we're going to look at before and after pictures that will show you what is possible. Okay, so uh, maybe we'll put Wes is a trainster, an expert, she does it all the time, okay? Now, tu peux mettre deux. Okay, so what happens here? The lady has an electrode on the back, where, on the, on the neck. This electrode is connected to the device of electromodulation. We started by infiltrating her with electrolytes, and you can compare it with all these aqua devices, but we developed a specific aqua device that can handle electrolytes because they clog the, the tubes. So once you come here, okay, and we are here, let me see the, the, the voyant. Yes, okay, I need a little bit of gel. Okay, you can put it on two even. Yeah. Okay, so two, you will see the green light, the, this green, no, not this one, this one, you see, is lighting up when I put here, you see, that means I make a connection with the cable behind. And where does the, the electricity flow? It flows through the face. And because it flows through the face, we get a restructuration, it's like a gymnastic, a restructuration of the nerves, the vessels and the lymphatics, okay? You can put it on, on three, if you want to see the contractions here. Voila. There is a diffuser to that, and you will see, you see the contractions? You see the contractions here? Is it visible on the video? Wes, it's visible? Pour vous, ça va, madame? Oui? Vous le sentez un peu, hein? C'est ça? Oui. Voila. Mais c'est pas très douloureux, c'est pas comme des injections. Now, what we're going to look here, we're going to look here at where the nerves come out and where they deal with the muscles, okay? And that's what we're going to activate. You see the whole, when, when we have difficult, complicated problems, like a nice jaw, everybody wants a nice jaw, very hard to get. Everybody wants a nice neck, very complicated. Everybody injects the lips, but actually the red of the lip, the mucosa of the lip, will not be activated even with injections. We will still have irregular forms, we will still have less redness of the muscle, okay? And this mucosa, if you make it nicely and you, you regenerate it, and you'll see pictures afterwards, you'll get a very nice lip. And the muscle gets bigger, so you get a very natural full of lip, okay? You feel good? You sent it bien? <laughs> she finds it all very strange, and it's very good. Do you see the movement? Yes? Now, you see this, this nice lady is the typical patient that you will never have because she hates us. She doesn't want to come to a clinic with needles. She asked me like five times, it's gonna hurt, it's gonna do, da 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 da. She's the one you won't have. You wanna know how many like her are there? 60% of the population, 60%. And you know how many people will come to you? Only 4%. Only 4% are ready to accept these injections. 60% don't want that. So you've got a full potential to tap in, which is 15 times more than the clients or the patients that are coming to your clinic right now. I will leave Wes to her duty, and we will look further to pictures before and after, and I'll explain you what it does. Okay, we're going, dear Manuel, do you have the next slide for me. Hello? Hi. Yes. Okay. Wait a second. Okay. No. Let's 
close up, close up. Okay, I press the amp test, good. Look, pores, dilated pores. Everybody knows how complicated and difficult that is. Why? Because it's a combination of clock pores, elastosis, etc. We cannot solve that. This is one session. Because all of a sudden, I'm not telling you that Clem solves all of your problems. I'm just telling you that with a new approach from the inside, you'll be able to do things that you couldn't do before. The things that you can do now, you keep it. But the things that you can't do now, you've got you a new opportunity from the inside. Open pores. Now, this is a very interesting case, and I had questions from colleagues. How can you erase scars from acne? Okay, scars from acne, how can you do that? And definitely on a dark skin. Because if we want to do that, we have to go to specificity, you know, selectivity. Our lasers, they work like that. If we do hair removal, we need specific pigmented hairs to take them away. What is the specificity here that we can tackle the, the scar and not the normal skin? Well, there is a difference in electrical resistance between the scar and between the normal skin, which makes the scar the target. The, we, we could call it the chromophore, but it's not a chromophore, it's the, the electrophore of our body. And that's how we will see that we have specific targeted electrophores. And you have to think again, like we think with lasers, that you can take it away. Dark circles around the eyes. Now look at that. When we say that we harmonize the area around, means even if you want to tackle only the dark skin, you will also have an effect on the xanthelasma, you will also have an effect on these two warts here, okay, these two warts here, on your xanthelasma, on the eyelid, the skin, even if you didn't want to target it, there is a harmonization because you connect the cells, okay? Same goes for here. This is a patient that is very nice and interesting. Look at the frontalis muscle. It lost its volume and it lost its tone. And because it lost volume and tone, it goes to a reactive contraction. If we deal with that with Botox, we will have a dropping eyebrow. Now look what's happening here. Her eyebrow doesn't drop. Why? She got more muscle and more muscular tone. And this is exactly what we want. The elastosis diminished. See the elastosis of the face? Diminishes. She gets more volume in the cheeks. Why? Because the muscle gets more tone and it goes up and it gets more volume. Okay? And look even at the lips. The lips are coming up. Yeah? They're getting more color and they're getting more shape. Same goes here. Relaxation after every contraction. Everybody that has babies here or have seen babies in short, they contract but they relax immediately. As an adult, you don't relax immediately. That means that you stay with these contractions. That's because you have a bad connection of your nerves. We need 120 meters per second to get a, a good relaxation after every contraction. This is a colleague of mine with the frontal muscles. Open gaze, open eyes. Why open eyes? You work on the frontalis and you work on the levator palpebra superior and you work on the orbicularis openly to strengthen that. And we'll see more pictures of that. Okay, this is the levator. This is the, the, the husband of Professor Bilaite of the University of Vilnius, Dermatology, who has a device like that after she checked it 10 times. We're very proud to have professors at the university with this technology because they really check everything out. Okay, so the same goes here. Cellulite. This remains, by the way. It doesn't go away. What happens here? Lymphatic drainage with the Clem technology, and we heard that you cannot drain the lymphatics like that. They're connected electrically. Plus fortification of the skin for loose skin, okay? And this is what you get. Now, is every cellulite for that? No. There are cellulites who are mainly the fat pads, and there are cellulites who are mainly these fibrotic the fibers that go downwards are not all the forms of cellulite, but those with loose skin and those with a lymphatic um, abundance of fluid will respond extremely well. Look at that face. I've done facelifts for many years. Many years. 30 years. Thousands of them. I cannot reach that result. Look at the lips. 
okay? Full ellipse, the corners of the map, what we call the marionette lines, which is basically a contraction of the resorius of the DEA. We restructure the muscles. Look at this elevator superior. Look at the orbicularis oris, how it's stretched below on the eye, see? You, you would say she has done a cantopexy, but no, she didn't do a cantopexy. The eyebrows are lower and she doesn't have an excess of skin. This is something that you cannot realize. I'm giving you all the scalpels, all the lasers, all the injectables that you want. You cannot reach that. You can only reach that by reconnecting the face to the central organs. Okay? Melasma. Melasma is an inflammatory disease. It's not a pigmented disease. It's an inflammatory case. And you see that here. She's a little bit red here. Okay? And the inflammatory, if we reduce that, and we can reduce it very easily, first of all, because we produce a lot of vasculitis <coughs> growth factor, like PRP, but a lot more than that. We connect the vessels, okay? And <coughs> slowly, gradually, we reduce the inflammation, and so the melasma doesn't have a base anymore to stay on that type of skin. Same goes for <coughs> here, okay? Melasma is a very complicated thing. You can get a 70% reduction in your melasma. This is a very interesting case. He had five sessions in like 10 weeks, and there was hardly any change, hardly any change. We said, we'll leave you like that. Five years later, this is the husband of my yoga teacher in India. I've been 20 years in India, by the way, on and off, and I studied Ayurvedic medicine there. This is the husband of my teacher. Five years later, she shows me the picture of her husband now. I said, since when is it? He said, a year after the treatment, it disappeared completely and it stayed like that. So when you restore the things, you get it on the long term. You get it later and on the long term. So patience is very important. Okay? Malar bags, we all know what malar bags are and how complicated they are to treat. Okay? And at the same time, you get the full lips, you get the marionette lines, etc. All done. Okay? Lips, the muscle goes up. The filtrum goes up, everybody is trying to shorten here the filtrum with, with these horrible operations around the nose, not necessary anymore, we activate the muscle. Look, a better definition of the red of the lip, the vermilion of the lip, and look at the wrinkles that diminish the vermilion of the lip, okay? These are the lips that all people who are now 25 to 30 years old, and who have like a better position in society, like a degree or something, like my, my, my daughter-in-law, she's a lawyer, she brought all her friends, this is what they want. They don't want injections anymore. They want naturally nice lips. And this will be your patience of the future. You miss out on that, you miss on the next generation. They will not inject in their lips anymore. Nasal labial falls, we saw the baby, with a nasolabial falls, okay, contraction of the zygomatic, well, we go inside the mouth with the cannula, inside, and we work on the muscle from the inside, and we get a relaxation of the muscle, the zygomatic muscle, and thus the nasolabial contraction goes away. You don't inject it. Elastosis of the skin, reorganization of our fibers of collagen and elastin, and hyaluronic acid, all this is manufactured by the fibroblast, and the fibroblast lose their contact with the circulation of blood, with the lymphatics, and with the nervous system. So reactivating them and reconnecting them is important. It's not up to us with a needling device to activate the fibroblast. It's the job of the brain to do that, day and night. While the patient is gone, we just have to reconnect it. See? A full face. Look how beautiful. You cannot reach that with anything. The facial, fa the facial shape changes. Acne, of course. Double chin, as long as you reach the lymphatics. Once it's very organized, it's a difficult problem. But if it's still not organized, you can have this double chin removed just by draining the fluids and the lymphatics. Okay? acne on the back and the scars. Scars of acne, as I told you, you have a specificity here in the electrical resistance and current, okay? Full face, of course. The jaw lines, of course. Wounds, 
okay? Because I'm telling you, it's, it's medical. This is an arterial wound, a lady of 88 years, 10 weeks, it's a miracle. I mean, for all of us who have treated arterial wounds know how difficult it is. Ulcerative psoriasis, very rare case, 10 days, gone, okay? So, the future of medicine is how to deal with self-healing, how to what we call the placebo effect, which is not really a placebo, it's self-healing. There are 3,000 registered cases of cure of severe diseases like cancer, AIDS, etc., only through our own body. And we know that the power is our own body. Okay? So, a month ago, I was at the University of Ghent. They invited me to give a speech to young doctors who just, just finished medicine. And I told them, listen, in the future, we will need so many doctors and you don't have enough hands. So you will be a brain in the future. You will gain more and more and more experience, will know more and more, but your hands will fail. So we need technologies that you can delegate to assistants. One doctor with his brain can deal with 20, 30 assistants and have a clinic that is big and dealing with a lot of serious problems while his brain is functioning and he gets much more hands. In India, I saw this dancing Siva, you know, the dancing Siva, the goddess who dances with six hands, and I told myself, what is that? I'm working hard from the morning to the evening, I have only two hands, and she only needs to dance in the evening, and she's got six of them. Hmm? Let's change that, okay? We need much more <coughs> hands. Now, what do we solve now? What do we get out of this? We get new indications that we couldn't do before or very complicated indications, okay? Like we saw. Melasma, uh, dark circles around the eyes, mellow bags, um, scars of acne on the dark skin, and name it, name it, a lot of complicated cases that we couldn't solve. Now, it's a possibility. New indications and difficult indications. And as we see with this lady, 60% of the population is exactly like her, okay? And I'm an expert in an American insurance for natural health. So we did all these studies, okay? 60% of the population and more wants natural. Only 4% comes to your clinic. Mind yourself if you go from 4% of the population to 60%. I wrote a book about that. It's free, downloadable on the website of Ryu. It's purely scientific. There's not one single word about the device or about Ryu. It's all science with articles, with everything you should know about self-healing and how the body deals with homeostasis inside, okay? I'm very glad to come here uh, to Portugal for the fourth time and talk to you because I believe that we should understand if this technology is already 100 years around with success and that we brought it to the next level by making it as interesting and portable like I portable phones, you see, then this is something that will stay and be, be your main device in your clinic. Thank you very much. So, we have time for questions. There must be a lot of questions, because this is a totally new approach. We were dealing with the organs from the outside, and now, we get the opportunity to deal with the organs from the inside, okay? If you join both, you get this organ in a sandwich, you connect it back to the homeostasis loops, and you work on the outside if you need to do some extra things, okay? So, you got one device for the inside, you got a lot of devices for the outside, okay? Why? Because the central, the central, uh, uh, that's the indication of what we have to do. We only need one device for the central approach. For the exterior approach, we, we need a device for every organ, for every indication. So you will have 100 devices and one device. And they both work together. By the way, if you want to continue to inject, while the muscle of your patient is fading away, you will need muscular volume to inject it. So one day or another, you'll get this pillow face. So you need to work on the volume of the muscle, on the health of the muscle, 
so that your patient at 60 years will not have mainly hyaluronic acid in the face and no muscle anymore. So activate the muscle while you're injecting and you'll be able to inject till the patient is 60, 70, 80 years old because you, you kept the muscle alive. Same goes for Botox or Botulin toxic. If you don't activate the muscle and the nerves with time, you will end up with a muscle that is so thin that it won't react to Botox anymore. When I started Botox at the time, it didn't exist, no reaction to Botox. But now, we see that all the time. People who inject for a long period, they lose their muscular volume, they lose their tone. You inject there, the toxin, and it doesn't work. So for, only for that, it's interesting to keep this whole system alive. So, no question, yes. Well, this is a well. Yes, but uh, after the good results that you presented, how long do they last? Okay, in many of the cases you have presented, you do a repair of the loops. So once you repair the loops and you keep a good health, that means you stop the junk food and you keep a good health. The aging process will slow down. And because we repair the gap between what you had and now, you will have years and years of results of that. We see patients classically with a nice results when they, we finish the four sessions, but it's even nicer 18 months later because the loops have been regenerated. So we're dealing here with, let's say, I take you in my hands as a coach and a trainer from muscles. I bring you into shape. You look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. How long does it last? Well, as long as you keep a healthy lifestyle, you will remain like that, just the aging that will come. See? So it's, it's, it's a very long-lasting result. The longest that we can ever have. You don't have to come back every three to six months like with injections. You, you repair and you stay healthy. If you don't stay healthy, of course, we will have to repair whatever you damage. This is sold also to non-doctors? Well, we sell it to doctors because we want the brain of the doctor. Once you go on the need here, there is a lot to know. And as we saw here for all the indications, there is a lot to know. So your assistant can do that, but the brain of a doctor must be there. So we go exclusively to doctors. <coughs> See, and even neurologists are buying the device. Neurologists. They understood it more than everybody else because they understand the degeneration of the nerve in, within years. So they are the first one who are interested. Gynecologists also, because there are a lot of things they cannot solve. Cystitis, pelvic floor regeneration, pelvic pain. Okay? We have professors in gynecology who are endorsing this because we solve problems they cannot solve, which is normal because we work from the inside. Yes. Go ahead. Ladies first. That's nice one. That's nice. One. Yes. Thank, thank you so much. But, but, but I, I, I want to thank you. Uh, uh, but I am still processing all you, you, you told us because this is uh, it, it. It makes a lot of sense because uh, the 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 muscle fun function it's it's the one that keeps the the, the bone alive. Yes. And the, we are we age in the middle of the face because we do. Yes, but the problem but is not a muscle, the problem is a nerve. But, but, but uh, we are doing it exactly the opposite because we are paralyzing the muscle and filling with, with fillers. Because That's it. <laughs> That's why I stopped my clinic. <coughs> That's why we had a huge clinic, 40 operation rooms. I sold the clinic in 2020 and I went to the University of the North to develop that. See, because it, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. And I know there are skepticals here who say, is it okay, is it not okay, etc. You test it on your patient and you call them up the next week. And sometimes two hours later. For gynecology, we did it like that, okay? Dryness. Some dryness we solved in two hours. And we, we did it in France. In, in, a, in a clinic, there were three ladies, about
about 45, 50, yes, which is a very good age, you see young women, okay? And they suffer from that. Two hours later, how convincing is that? There are protocols, of course, because we are in an electromodulation that is, that is specific, you see, like the lasers. The lasers, you, you see light, and you have a chromophore, and you, you target specifically that problem. Here we have electrical current that is modulated, we have a resistance that is specific for your problem, and you target it specific. Our body is an electrical circuit, okay? Like a map, like Google Maps. But the resistance is not the same everywhere. And we see that the diseased areas have a different resistance. And that's where we see that they can target specifically that area. This is the electromodulation. Yes? Do you have Sorry? Yes. I just have a question regarding the side effects. What, what, wait a minute. Yeah, the side effects. That's my question. Yes. So, yeah. The side effects of the treatment. Side effects. Any ah, side any effects. Complications? Well, you have four contraindications that we set Okay. Complications. Epilepsy. Not, not yes, okay. epilepsy, implants that with battery, pregnant women and chemotherapy. Four. And for the rest, you have no side effects. Why no side effects? You're working with microcurrent. You can have no effect, but no side effects. Yes. And the uh, time between sessions. Wait. How many times you put in sessions? One day, two day, one week, two weeks. You're asking how many sessions, right? No. no. Times in between in, in the sessions. The time between the sessions. Ah, the time between the sessions. Okay. The time between the sessions depends on the nerves and what you're going to correct. You have sensorial fibers which are very thin. Okay? You have organs that are very thin like the hair follicles. Hair follicles once a week. If you go to bigger organs with motoric nerves who are thicker, once every two weeks. Don't go over two weeks. You can go a bit shorter, but as we know in healing, the body heals in the relaxation time. You go to the gym on Monday, you don't build muscles. While you rest Tuesday and Wednesday, that's when you build muscles. You study on Monday morning, you don't build memory. When you go and you rest at night, that's where you build the memory. It's always in the relaxation phase that you build up whatever you try to do in the action phase. So it ranges according to the organs and according to the type of fibers and according to your age and the generative diseases that you might have and diabetes, etc. It goes from three days to two weeks. And we have protocols on all of that. Okay? Yes? Yes. Um, so I was thinking, uh, couldn't it be dangerous, for example, if, if you have cancerous cells in the area? No, no, on the contrary. There are countless studies of uh, electromodulation to heal cancer. Because what you do, and I said it as the first word, you regenerate, you restore homeostasis. And homeostasis is our, is our mechanism of healing and normalization. Okay? So you don't act from the outside in the sense that you interfere with the body. You just let the body do what it knows best. The body knows, he read the manual through the DNA. He has the active ingredients inside the body, all the stones he has there. He has the workers to do that. And he does that all for free, by himself. The only thing you need to do is to give the command that they join each other. That's why you don't have side effects, because you don't interfere with the mechanisms of the body. And that's why we call it the natural revolution, and that will be the future of our medicine. Yes? Do you have any recommend any kind of supplement? Yes. We recommend electrolytes, because we lack electrolytes in our body, and the electrolytes in our body are doing all this communication between everything. So we give people electrolytes. Now, one of our major problems, it's very good that you stated that, we use table salt, right? And table salt is NaCl. It's one electrolyte, the natural. While we have more than 20, 30 electrolytes in our body, calcium and vitamin, all these kind of things. 
What happens then the time, we create a disequilibrium in our electrolytes. Because we ingest one electrolyte out of all the electrolytes, and we create a disequilibrium. And then we start to sweat, you see, and we don't take these electrolytes back in. So we are electrolyte deficient. Then we don't connect to the earth with our bare feet. So we don't eliminate negative ions to the earth. And that's why we get an electrical disbalance. This creates a low blood flow in the capillaries, which run electrically. No capillaries, no blood flow, it degenerates the nerves. To generate the nerves, it goes further to the lymphatics, which work on the nerves, and that's how all our body starts to generate. So yes, electrolytes. Remind you, if you're sick, you don't feel good, first thing is electrolytes. Now, if you want good electrolytes, take them from the sea, not from the mountain. If the sea has at least 72 electrolytes, so you get a more balanced electrolyte situation in your body. Okay? Very good. This is the best medicine, electrolytes in your body, because we run on electricity. Yes. That's it. Benjamin says, finish. Okay.